In today's lecture, I am going to talk about introduction of antienzymal drugs. First term is antienzymal. An antienzymal is a drug used in the treatment of enzyme pectoris, a symptom of ischemic heart disease. So, according to this definition, an antienzymal drug is used for the treatment of chronic enzyme. The term ischemic heart disease is given to heart problems caused by narrowed heart arteries. When arteries are narrowed, less blood and oxygen reaches the heart muscle. This is also called coronary artery disease. This can ultimately lead to heart attack. Drugs belonging to this category act by increasing coronary blood flow and oxygen supply or by preventing vasospasm and clot formation and associated decrease in blood flow. Enzyme pectoris Enzyme pectoris is also known as enzyme. This is the principal symptom of ischemic heart disease. It is characterized by a severe constructing pain in the chest often radiating from the precordium to the left shoulder and down the arm. Precordium is the region of thorax immediately in front or over the heart. This portion. So pain starts from precordium often radiating from precordium to the left shoulder and then down the arm. Angina is caused by reduced blood flow to your heart muscle Blood carries oxygen, which your heart muscle needs to survive. When your heart muscle isn't getting enough oxygen, it causes a condition called ischemia. The most common cause of reduced blood flow to your heart muscle is coronary artery disease. According to various studies, women develop angina at a later age than men and are less likely to have classic substernal pain. As now we know that enzyme is caused by reduced blood flow to your heart muscle and the most common cause of reduced blood flow to your heart muscle is coronary artery disease. So now the question arises that what is the reason of coronary artery disease? Coronary artery disease is usually caused by a build up of fatty deposits on the walls of arteries around the heart. The most usual reason for this is some form of obstruction of coronary arteries due to medical conditions like atherosclerosis which hampers blood supply to heart muscle resulting in ischemia. In this picture you can see a healthy coronary artery and a atherosclerotic coronary artery. Atherosclerosis or obstruction of coronary arteries is caused by build up of fat deposits on the walls of arteries around the heart. This is known as plaque formation which causes reduction in blood flow to your heart muscle. Enzyme pectoris is of three types stable, unstable and microvascular enzyme pectoris. Stable enzyme is also known as effort enzyme and is one of the more common forms of enzyme. This type of enzyme is present when the patient is exerting himself like he is running brisk walking, climbing stairs or exercising etc. Unstable type of angina is not that common but is quite a serious condition when compared to stable angina. Symptoms are unpredictable, more intense and are unrelieved with rest or medications. Unstable angina is a pain that starts even at rest, is of severe intensity and not relieved by nitro compounds. Microvascular enzyme pectoris has enzyme like chest pain but the cause is unknown. Scientists believe that it is caused by poor functioning of the small vessels of arms, legs and heart. These vessels don't have blockage in them thus leading to difficulty in diagnosis. Next is causes and risk factors of angina. The main cause of angina by far is coronary artery disease. Coronary arteries are responsible for supplying oxygenated blood to heart muscles. Disease of these arteries leads to development of cholesterol deposits known as cholesterol plaque in arteries walls. Accumulation of these hardened cholesterol plaques leads to narrowing of coronary arteries. This condition is known as arteriosclerosis. 
If narrowing continues to increase more than 50%, the coronary arteries will not be able to supply adequate oxygenated blood to heart muscles and will not be able to meet increased oxygen demand during physical activities such as exercise or at times of stress. This lack of oxygenated blood supply to heart muscles causes angina or chest pain. Arteriosclerosis is caused by smoking, high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol and diabetes. Thank you.